All right, guys. We got a big boy gun here. This is uh, the Mossberg 100 ATR. This is the one I have that's chambered in 243, and uh, was shooting it the other day off camera, testing out this rest. And I'll tell you, she's a sweet shooter. I never truly realized how accurate this rifle was uh, till yesterday. 100 yards, group like that. Gorgeous! Uh, made me wish I'd filmed it. But these are really popular, uh, for lack of a better way of saying it, economy guns. This one came as a uh, scope rifle combo. And it's been a good gun for me. I use it for deer hunting. This is my, this is my deer killer. And I don't use it for anything else, really. And uh, it's time to uh, dust it off, clean her up a little bit, and make her look nice. And I figured, well, I haven't seen a whole lot of videos on YouTube about cleaning these things. So I figured I'd show you guys how it uh, comes apart and goes back together. So uh, let's get started. Now, the first thing you're going to need for this is an Allen wrench. There are no, for lack of a better way of saying it, conventional screws on these guns. At least none that you need to really worry about. So, you have to have an Allen wrench to take it apart. Close the action real quick. Make sure I got the right one, which I didn't. There we go. Your screws on the stock of this rifle are there and there. Take your Allen wrench and unscrew it. And it goes without saying, but always make sure that the guns are unloaded before you do this, as uh, that could be rather bad. get it to where you can reach it and unscrew it and finish the job with your finger so you don't drop it and potentially lose it remember the length of the screw what it looks like And you're going to do the same thing with this one here down there close to the trigger guard. Hold this tight because once you get this unscrewed, the rifle, the barreled action will just slide right off of the stock. This thing is a whole complete separate animal from that uh, 702. This is nowhere near as much of a pain in the ass to get apart. There we go. And remember, on these Mossberg ATR 100s, the screw that goes near the uh, trigger is the longer of the two. So, you're going to lift it up off of the uh, stock, and there's your stock. You can see it's pretty clean in the stock itself. I don't use this a whole lot. Again, this is my deer killer. Now, next comes the bolt. Take that out. There's a little deal 
right here. You push that down. Oh, let me get the magazine out of here. Push that down, hold it down, and your bolt slides right out. Stick that in here, and there you go. Your actioned barrel, your barreled action, I should say. You get you a gun wipe, and just start wiping. Now, this thing didn't really need a, a thorough cleaning like that, uh, like the 22s did, or the or the shotguns. This just needs a a regular oil coating. I fired it yesterday, so it might have a little bit of gunk on it, but it's not going to have a lot. And like I said earlier, it doesn't come out of the safe a whole lot. It's my deer killer. It comes out every now and then for regular target practice. Make sure it's on. Make sure the scope is on correct or still on target. But that's about it. Wipe down the bolt, give it a good, nice, thorough coating of, uh, of oil. That oil will seep into anywhere and everywhere on this action. So don't worry about getting into every little nook and cranny. There's the bolt, nice and lubricated. Now you get your barrel. Do the same things, every little nook and cranny that you can get your hands into. Wipe it down with oil. There is no, when you're doing this, when you're giving your guns these protective coats like this, there is no such thing. To a, with these wipes anyway, there is no such thing as too much oil. They put the proper amount on every time, and they also knock off all the crud and whatnot. This is like an acme pad for guns, basically. Do the same thing as you would with any other gun, just run it down the barrel. It'll give it a nice clean coating. And something you'll always notice, no matter what, you'll always see a little bit of brown, rust looking stuff come off of your guns, your barrels and whatnot, no matter how often you clean them. But unless you just horribly neglect them, you will never actually see them rust. Take the, uh, this is the sides of the magazine, the internal magazine. Take it and wipe it down too inside and out because this does get crud in it from when the gun go from when the the round the bullets uh, go off and they get fired down the barrel this you'll notice it has kind of a triangular shape to it like a trapezoidal shape to it the pointed end the narrower end goes towards the front toward the muzzle and you slip it in right here like such this part that has the rounded edges right there and that goes towards the top it actually connects to the uh, the barreled action slips in just like that all right. Then you have your magazine spring and follower. Wipe the follower off. That'll help lube up the uh, some of the rounds, and then just wipe off the spring very gingerly and very carefully. Save that for last. Take this. And there's little indentions in there. You can see those little channels where the spring fits inside of, just like that. Take it. Now you can either take your barreled action, stick the follower in like such, and then line up those little notches or you can do it vice versa 
it's your gun it's up to you how you want to do it either way will work just know that this way is a bigger pain in the ass so I usually just put the spring into the stock then I'll take the uh, the mag well orient it the proper way stick that mag well down in there so that it's in place and I'm sorry I'm not getting this on camera guys but you have no clue how hard this is to do at an awkward angle like that and there you go it's on wipe where your hands contacted the barrel and then take your screws put them in remember the longest one goes right there by the trigger assembly and whatnot get your allen wrench and retighten it and again finger tight guys finger tight get your second action screw get it in place screw it in finger tight till you can't get to it and reach it no more you take your allen wrench and retighten There we go. Gun is almost back together. Final thing you got to do is slip the bolt in, close it. There you go. And that is how you take apart a Mossberg model uh, ATR 100. Doesn't matter what caliber it's in, they all come apart and go together the same exact way. And uh, the only thing I don't like about these guns is the fact that the, uh, the magazine spring and the follower are a bitch and a half to get put back in correctly, even when you're not trying to orientate it for a camera. Uh, other than that, it's been a great gun. I love it. It's been very accurate. It's been very reliable for me. Right now, I'm going to test it put the gun on safety first make sure it loads and ejects rounds correctly Sweet. All right, we are good to go. Chamber's clear, gun on fire, letting down the half firing pin. All right, thanks guys for watching. I hope if any of you guys out there that have this rifle or 
the same rifle in a different caliber. If you didn't know how to take it apart, remember guys, you can always reference your uh, owner's manuals on your guns. But I hope that this helped you out a little bit. Uh, Y'all have a wonderful day. Be safe out there. And remember, united we stand, divided we fall. If you're a gun-owning American in the United States of America, doesn't matter if it's a bolt-action hunting rifle like this, or a Class 3 Thompson uh, fully automatic submachine gun, you need to join the NRA. Alright, thank you.